and I am a product of my mom, but I also have a little sister, and it's her birthday. That's right. Jill was born December 7th, so I'm going to play some music and celebrate Jill. Um, you know, me and my little sister used to, <laughs> we used to sit there with the tape recorder on all the time. And we do little, uh, I do interviews and stuff. I guess I was a fun brother. I, I was trying to do this show, but like in my room. So I brought Jill on one time to uh, do an interview with the cat. Let's listen, listen to that for a minute. In, in about five minutes, well, about one second, we are going to um, bring my, my sister in and talk with her. But now, a little break. Oh, and what a surprise. And here is my sister and my wonderful, loving cat. Uh, Want to say something, Jill? Um, I just brought the cat because I thought he'd like to be on, on the radio. Oh, isn't that nice? Hey, meow for us, kid. Meow. <laughs> so we get the cat to meow. Yeah, we interviewed the cat. I mean, who else are we going to get on the show to interview? Got to interview the cat. Well, you know, the reason I play clips of myself as a kid and my little sister as a kid on the show is because this show takes place in the 20th century when I was a kid. Even though I'm standing here with this adult voice and I'm in this adult body, I'm normally just a 10-year-old. I'm the kid you just heard on that, ra <laughs> on that clip right there. Oh, boy. How about this one? Then they went out in this little ship. And they, and they went to a um, place we where... We're reading this, too. The tape board. And um, then they had... Then, then they went on speeder bikes. I love you. Shut up! And then they went on speeder bikes all the way to where the Ewoks were. And then the Ewoks... I love well, you too much. <laughs> that was me trying to read the, um, uh, well, I was trying to read by just looking at the pictures of uh, Return of the Jedi. And then Jill comes up to the, the microphone and goes, I love you. <laughs> I love that. Well, happy birthday, Jill. Me and Jill, when they installed the cable box in 1985, we spent a lot of time watching Nickelodeon. And so let's do the theme to today's special. One of our favorite move, uh, TV shows from back then. I hope you, it's one of yours, too. Today's special on the old Nickelodeon. Here we go. Let's bring that mannequin to life. Everywhere, a world for us to share, and friendly faces hoping that you want to meet us there for today's special. It's about to appear, it's about to appear. Today's special. Yeah, the theme from today's special from Nickelodeon right there. And, hey, there was a movie from 1988, The New Adventures of Pippi Longstocking. Do you remember the most infectious theme song of all time? Let's listen to it. Pippi Longstocking is coming into your world. A freckle-faced, red-haired girl. Yeah. <laughs> I can guarantee you that that song has not been played on the air. If ever it was, it was only played on this show because I'm the kind of nerd who remembers a song like that and likes to tickle your memory harmonies if you remember it. Well, all right. In 1989, I spent $14.95 at the Harbolate Mall for a bottle of Electric Youth perfume for my little sister. <laughs> Happy birthday, Jill. You guys are all Electric Youth here at... 
3.40 in the morning. I love you all so much. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, yeah, get that fragrance on, and let's get electric. Electric Youth by Debbie Gibson. Yeah, to celebrate my little sister's birthday. Thank you so much for tuning in, everybody. Hey, I got a song from 1991. Uh, in 91, oh man, when I was wake up, for, I would wake up for high school. Jill was always up first, so she'd put on the Top 40 radio. And one of my favorite songs, and one again, this was one of those ones that just popped in my in my head this week, and I was like, oh, gotta play that on the show. Haven't played it yet. How have I not played this? Yeah, here's Shanice. And I love your smile, everybody. I love making you smile. Thank you for tuning in. Let's feel good. It's almost Friday. <laughs>